Westminster for us tonight. And Andy, although the elections are now over, the problems aren't entirely solved, are they? Certainly not. Well, as you say, Andy, they're all in Mexico this evening. Very nice indeed. Uh, so what can we expect from the likes of David Cameron and other European leaders? Well, for a... A police officer has gone on trial accused of killing... It was the health scare that caused thousands of women to rush to have their breast implants removed. ...in the programme tonight. Thank you very Thanks much so for coming in. And what are your thoughts about this report? Well, it's great news that uh, it's shown that there's no... ...in, in the UK yes. who, who might have this problem. That, do you think? I think they're just poor manufacturing. Uh, it's felt cheap, is that right? Yeah, they felt a bit uh, cheap to me, but... Even if they've not ruptured... And I, for example, if I had a PI pain... The problem is, if, you, if they do rupture, taking them out... Private practices will make of, of your recommendation. Well, I mean... Is that how many companies aren't complying? There, there are sort of... In one yeah. of those clinics that you're not yeah. happy with, what yeah. are their legal... Now, if you didn't know already, there is just 24 hours to go until England's biggest match so far at Euro 2012. They face co-host Ukraine on their home turf in... Break, don't go away. Jack Osborne has revealed that he has multiple sclerosis, the reality. It's barely a fortnight since she performed at the Jubilee concert and, of course, Politan, Susie Cox, and the good TV series as well. <laughs> Lovely to have you on the programme, ladies. I, I know you've both read the book, haven't you? So let's yes. start with you, Susie. What did you think of it? Yeah, it was... Uh... Because it's not exactly fine literature, is it? <laughs> no, yeah, I, see, I read it with a slightly different weekend on my own with it, thinking this might be quite fun. My husband was like... It was actually very personal, and that, that's yes. what's interesting, is... It... I think nearly a million paperbacks could be sold by the end yeah. of the year. It's extraordinary. Yes. And what's the novels without anyone knowing what we're reading? I think it's partly that. About... Public transport test. Yeah, right. there's, a, there's a sort of thing called the tube test. I think this is an untapped market. Do you think that we're not as buttoned up as we imagine. It's not very fair on them, is it? <laughs> well, I think in a way it's actually maybe helping. Then if it allows you to open up that dialogue with your partner. Thank you very much for joining us, Susie Cox and Imogen Edward-Jones. Oh, well, that's it from us. Claire has the weather for you.